well, uh, welcome back to, uh, well, I decided to call this series People Mover Inc. Because we're moving people, yes, and we're running a company, well, allegedly. Uh, but anyway, we're moving people, so People Mover Inc. So, I guess, welcome back to People Mover Inc., where we are connecting up all of the towns with rail and or uh, non-rail but mostly rail, uh, for uh, the purpose of building a complete network. And we're doing all of this in 1850, or at least until I get fed up with doing this in 1850 and advance the time. Uh, right, so uh, I've had a little bit of a think about it since uh, last episode, and it occurs to me that getting a really solid core network together and then advancing the time a bit and then expanding the network might be... Uh, a little bit more uh, engaging, but uh, however I end up doing that, there's uh, a fair bit still to do for uh, building up the initial network since there's only two towns connected. And the goal is to do this with a single uh, depot for rail vehicles. Uh, and that is going to prove to be an interesting conundrum to sort out, right? Anyway, uh, so, uh, Durham is connected. It's a largest town of 198 uh, base size, and Columbia, 191. So, these two are fairly large, right? Uh, oh, yes, and I have time frozen, okay? So, let's just get time rolling so that some cash comes in. And now, I was wondering, uh, well, while uh, I was away, which way I want to expand the network. Uh, I had originally thought about going over to Daly City and then New Haven. And the reason, uh, New Haven's 112 and Daly's 123. So they're reasonable, reasonable size. But I want to get toward DC here, which is also close to the 200 size. So uh, I was thinking the thing to do would to be would be to make a sort of loop a uh, set of connections around between uh, DC, Daly, and New Haven, and that uh, that would be uh, that would get some things going reasonably well. And also, I'll be wanting to run a line up to Naperville here, and uh, that will also come out of Columbia. Uh, so I'm going to need a line going from Columbia to Daly, and a line going up to Naperville. Uh, how big is Naperville? 92. Uh, and it's a fair long way with a fair change in elevation, I think. Yes, yes, that's going to be a fair change in elevation. So uh, just let's do an experiment here. If I start here, can I get up? Oh! Um... Almost, yeah. I, I, that, that run won't be too bad. Okay, I'm not gonna have to helix it or anything like that. Okay, uh, so maybe I'll, I'll do the Naperville uh, uh, connection here uh, first. Now that's gonna require uh, another platform here, eventually, but what it's definitely going to require is another track coming out. I'm not going to go straight through the town here. That's too expensive. So I'll, I'll, I'll need to peel off over here uh, and just go up from here, right? So I'm going to I'm going to add. So I, I'm going to avoid adding infrastructure I don't actually need. That's going to be important. Uh, so uh, I'm going to start out by building the diverging track here. So that's going to go like this, uh, and it will we'll go level. And that's going to need to, I don't know, go about like that. Uh, 49 is good for that. And then it's going to have to go up toward Naperville, right? So I'll build the diverging track. Now, we don't have to worry about the, the running train at the moment. But uh, now up here, uh, I'm going to need to build a 
uh, station, and I'm going to want to put it. This is definitely going to be a terminus station because we're, we're on a cliff side here, right? Um, yeah, so I'm going to go and build a, a terminus station of 80 meters with one track, wang this around, and I don't know if I put it here, it's going to cost me, it's going to blow out. No, if I put it here. It'll be a quarter mil. Yeah, okay, and it'll be centrally located. So let's twist it just a little bit. And blam. Okay, so Naperville. Uh, and now um, it's going to need to come down and head this way. So... Uh, I've got some uh, roads there that are in an inconvenient place. Um, but the going down part here, I can actually get over this road here if I do this. Um, yeah. So I think it's actually worth doing this. Uh, just so that we we can, we don't end up having a level crossing here, and we're already up a fair height here. So, uh, and yeah, we'll go with that that stone bridge. That's actually nice. I like it. So, uh, uh, yeah, do that. So build that. Okay. So we're gonna have this, um, and I think that'll look nice in the town. So that's why I'm doing that. Then, uh, from here, we need to go down hard. Now, if I take this all the way to the diverging line here, it would be a viaduct the whole way. Let's not do that. That's too expensive. So... I'm going to need to uh, actually if we go out this way just a little bit uh, with maximum down um, and I guess uh, bend it around uh, I guess we could bend it around like yeah, like that, I think. Yeah, that's going to be another amount. And then if we... Oh, I might want to actually helix this. But I don't want to do an actual heat. Maybe I do. Um, we're going maximum down bubble. Let's just try it. Okay. So if we get to here, we get to an embankment. Yeah. And... Ah! And we continue maximum down bubble. That path should... Okay, now if we come down like that. So if you ever wondered why some tracks randomly snake around like this, it's exactly so that you can get up and down slopes without uh, over-indexing the slope to the point where the trains can't operate, right? And you know what? That weaving operation... I, I kind of like it so this is going to be a fairly expensive one to maintain um yeah and we've just got the one train going back and forth there giving us income at the moment but we will have a second train and that will be that will be good okay 
We need 300k to build this. Okay, well, clearly what I need to do is get this up. So we got room that we can borrow. So I'm going to do that, right? So uh, if I grab this and I bring it down some more, maximum down bubble, yep. Uh, yeah. Um, it's actually cheaper with the viaduct. Let's borrow some cash. Let's build that one. Yeah. And then I think we can now get all the way to here. Yes. Okay, I'm going to need to rebuild a segment of this. Okay, so if we build that and rebuild this segment. Yeah. Why? Uh, because it did a kind of humpy thing. And... Yeah. Okay, I think that's about as good as I'm going to get that without a lot of faff. Okay, so we've got this. Now, uh, there's something else I need to do here, and that is to handle the situation where we've got trains uh, going back and forth here. So I think I'm going to need a passing place here. So... Um, yeah, I'm going to need some sort of a, something to handle multiple trains coming onto this specific track because this is where the depot connects. Okay, so I should probably put that here. Yeah, okay. Do that. And do that. Okay. Double slip that. Yep. Okay. Now, I'm going to need to put a couple of signals on here. And that is... Uh, I'm going to need some one-ways on here. Blam. And blam. I don't need to worry too much about this. But I do want to have two blocks in here. And I might as well do it around this. And... There's one more, two more signals I need to add. I'm going to put one here. Why? That's so that when a train comes out of here, it doesn't block the through track while it's coming up this track. And I'm going to put one here so that this branch doesn't block this branch. This will prevent this branch blocking this branch or, or this branch. So th th that's the idea here, right? So signaling, right? Uh, this is uh, something that confuses a lot of people in these games, right? Now, Transport Fever uh, has path-based signaling. So it's, it's actually easier to do signaling with Transport Fever 2 than it is with, say, uh, uh, Soviet workers, uh, which has block signaling. And... Uh, as a result, we've just got two kinds of signals, one-way and uh, two-way. A two-way signal just means that trains can pass from the back of it, uh, and it's like it's not even there. A one-way signal just means trains can't pass from the other direction. So uh, I use the one-way signals to make sure that st stretches of track are one-way. You don't technically need to do that, but on Transport Fever 2, I just, I mostly, I prefer the look of the single light signal. Uh, indicator, right? <laughs> it's, it's, it's preference, but if you put the one-way signals, you know for sure you won't accidentally get a train going the wrong way on the track and then leading to uh, yeah, chaos and confusion and pain and uh, suffering and whatever else might happen, you know, dogs and cats living together, you know, all that, that business, right? Yeah, okay, so... Uh, what you need to do, uh, there's there's a couple of very, 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 very simple rules for signaling. 
if you have a double track, uh, basically you need a signal going into any single track section uh, from a double track section. And you need uh, potentially a two-way signal coming out of a branching two-way track. Uh, uh, you know, a single track section. Okay. Now this here is a good example that we can look at. Uh, do not ever put any signals along a two-way piece of track. Do not. The games don't handle that. Uh, while you might see that in real life, it will not work in the game even if it looks like it does, it will not work. Because what you will end up with is two trains entering from either end and ending up looking at each other head to head, right? You don't want that. So this whole section of track, because there's a signal here controlling entry to it, we do not need an exit signal. With path-based signals, exit signals are not a thing. Do not build them. You might be tempted to put a signal here. Don't. You do not need it. Uh, you, in fact, don't need either of these two signals either. Uh, the only two signals that are strictly required here are these two. And that's only to keep these two bits of track uh, one way and it'll allow passing to work properly. Now, uh, this one, I have put the signal on the side line here, and that's just for traffic control purposes. Note, there should be no signals along this entire piece of track. Okay. Uh, this one here is, uh, is basically making this the branch and this the through. Do not put another signal on here because this is a signal track line. Uh, the whole idea here is that the single track here has priority. So if a train is in here, this train will wait. If there's no train in here, this train will go. Now this only works uh, because, the, there were two reasons uh, the, this would work. The Path signals mean that two trains can occupy a block if their movements do not conflict. That's not an issue when you have one track, but you, we'll see it later in the more complicated setups. Uh, but this setup would work with only the one signal here with this, uh, this track. Uh, and this one signal here. This setup would work with no signals on this main line. But as soon as we're going to put signals on this main line, we need somewhere for the trains to wait. Okay, You might be tempted to put a signal here, a two-way signal here. That would work in this case. Or you could put a two-way signal here. But if you put a signal here, you might have a train come in and wait here for the train coming in this way. <laughs> Right. Uh, so uh, now keep in mind with no with this this signaling setup, we can have at most one train coming up this side because there's no effort to wait anywhere on its path. So if we had two, uh, you'd end up with a train waiting here and a train waiting here, e if you could even deploy them. And then that would block this one. Right. On the back and forth one here, we could have. Uh, one, two, three, we could have four trains on here because you can have one, uh, right. Cause there's one, two, three, four, there's four blocks here. So you could have three trains, right? Otherwise they, they wouldn't have anywhere to move. Right. So except you could actually have more than that because there's a built-in path signal coming out of the, the station. So if the train wants to come this way, uh, it can, 
as long as it can, it, it can, because it, it'll come in and up to here. And then as soon as it comes into here and it's no longer hanging into here, the train here could go. Okay. So we could have, you know, four or five trains on this, but there'd always be trains waiting at the signals. Okay. So we probably, if we had that many trains, we'd probably want to double track it. Anyway, uh, so that is the setup here. And uh, I'm going to uh, run a train up to uh, Naperville. And I think, realistically, I'm going to need the, I'm going to want the uh, same size train that I've got here, uh, which can carry uh, 56. No, uh, I'll, I'll build a shorter one. So, uh, we don't have a lot of choices again here, so we're just going to grab the loco and the passenger car. And I think we'll want to run three cars because of the length of it. And we get to mediocre. It's going to be a slow climb up that hill. Uh, I'm going to need to uh, borrow some uh, cash here. And uh, we go back in here. That's not enough. Borrow some more. Buy. Okay. So we're going to make a new line, and it's going to go from here. No. It's going to go from he here to... I built a bloody... Uh, cargo station. Okay. Well, anyway, I'll deal with this. This is going to be column to... Naperville. Okay. Yep. Okay. So I can fix this. <laughs> this is actually easy. Uh, so we go in. I'm going to pause it while I do that. Uh, we're going to go in here. We're going to configure this. We're going to blow up that. And we're going to add a uh, passenger uh, building. Uh, we can add one of these. No, can we add one of these? Yes, we can. We'll add it like that. Okay. Now, uh, we need to get rid of the platform. Uh, we're going to go and add a uh, one of these. Right. Now, there are no warnings. Right. Now, that should work. Uh, right. So, having done that, let's observe the train and see what happens. Um, Where are we? Ah, yep. We're going up our uh, single track line here. And we're going all the way up to the top of it here. And that's going to, well, uh, that's going to be quite the climb. But let's uh, let's just observe this from the perspective of the, uh, the cab, right? We're going to be down to about 10k before we get to the top because it is a steep climb. But there really isn't a reasonable way to avoid that. Now you can see the uh, the viaduct part there up to the left. You know, actually that doesn't look too bad. Okay, so let's see what happens here as the uh, as the uh, train does its thing. And you know what? I might need to reconnect that uh, that station. Anyway, let's uh, let's just uh, observe the uh, the huffing up the hill. Yeah, I called it 12k. Yeah. So uh, this here uh, operation. Uh, will get is a, a branch line, and I don't think we'll ever really need to expand this to double track. What might happen at some point in the future is run a second connection out to the other town further out there. 
but I don't think we'll need to. You can see the uh, the roads coming in there, and uh, you know the roads can have a much steeper slope. So as a result, they can climb up there much easier. That was a nice gap over there, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, this actually is kind of cool coming in here. And here we go. There's a whole bunch of passengers waiting here. Uh, how many do we pick up? Uh, we pick up 37. Okay, so this train should should make uh, should make bank, uh, at least enough bank to be usable or useful. Yeah, that is a nice gap over there. Okay, now coming down the the uh, the hillside here, we're going to be just fine. Yeah. Okay. So this is fine. Uh, so let's uh, bail out of there and uh, just observe this thing here as it uh, comes down. I want to see how much it uh, collects. Now with these single track operations, we should have much lower uh, maintenance costs uh, and that should be good. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Now, one thing that will affect the uh, town growth in here is the fact that we do have road connections. So uh, that will, that will uh, reduce some of the traffic on the trains. But now it should wait here, right? This guy will come in, do its thing. You know, picked up 150K. It's going to go back the other way. And then this guy will drive in here and these two trains will just ping pong through here and there won't be any uh, conflict going on here. And that's that's kind of the idea. Now, I don't think I need a local line up at the top in Naperville. Uh, so we'll, we'll just take a look here and see what this brings in. Uh, 140k, so, and we're taking 42 up. Yeah, okay. Might need a second. No, I think we should be fine. Yeah, this, this should work okay. Now, let's just take a look up here, right? Uh, how much? The whole place, except for over here, is covered, so I'm going to leave that as is. Yeah, so it might run a line down from to Garland, but yeah, it might actually in the future. Uh, right. Okay. Um, or possibly a through line from DC up around, but I don't think that'll be necessary. So with that done, uh, the, uh, the next thing to do is to uh, look at uh, what to do for another uh, uh, connection. Now we want to obviously uh, come through this way and get to Daly City and then on to New Haven. Now where would I, I want to put the uh, station in Daly? Well, realistically, I probably want to put it out on this side of the town. And then we'll come into uh, New Haven, uh, and I'm not sure where I would put it. Now, we could go through the middle, but that's going to be expensive, right? Uh, although, it would obviate the need for a local uh, feeder route initially. Uh, but we're coming in on this side of the, the road. So, realistically, I think I'd want to reroute this road onto here. And just put the station over here. Yeah, uh, I think that's what I, I would do. So uh, let's just go and grab a uh, passenger station, 80 meters, right? One track on it. And put it here. Right? Yeah, we can just put it here. Uh, maybe move it out to here. Yeah. So I could put the station here for Daly City. And that's what I will do. Now, I'm going to do something different here. I'm going to set up the local line first. 
which is just going to go up this road. Okay. So this is going to be a, a quick one here. So I don't think I need to do any edits here. Uh, so we're going to have uh, a station stop here, one here, uh, one here, and one here, right? And we're going to just add in one of these over here uh, like this. And we'll uh, grab a street, which will connect like this. No tools. We're going to own that street. We're going to do this. Okay. Back and forth. It'll go up that. So uh, we got enough cash to buy... Five of them. Yeah, we do. There's enough stops on here to justify the five, I think. So we're going to go up and down the main road here. And this is going to be uh, Daily City Crosstown. Okay, good. Yeah. So this is going to uh, go do its thing. So if we just... Uh, we just let it run here. This will go back and forth, and it will make a few a few currency units. And then we just need to run a track around here and get into this station. And again, I think we'll potentially be able to get away with still a single track station here. Uh, now, I'm debating here. Do I want to run the... Uh, existing train back and forth, maybe put a second train on the line, or do I want to uh, run a second line? Now, optim optimally, uh, we would want to run a separate line on each of these connections, like a separate train and with a separate line. But I don't want to have... Uh, an explosion of uh, of city pairs, right? Uh, yeah, like the um, the citizens, the passengers don't care about transferring between trains, right? They'll happily get off the train, wait on the platform, get on the train, and keep on going, right? The advantage of two different lines is you can balance the passenger capacity between the different legs. The disadvantage is you have more, uh, you potentially have more trains and you have a lot more lines. I think because of the investment cost of a train, I will probably not uh, add in another train initially. No, I have to because the, this is traveling full. Yeah, so it is worth doing. But the first thing I need to do is get the track out of here. And that might be better done with a second um, platform. Yeah. So I'm going to need to... I'm going to add a second set of tracks and a platform here. We have room for it, right? And now here's something else. I can put a set of stairs on this side. Uh, but let's uh, do the thing here. Uh, we can add... These don't cost anything, right? Uh, so I got... I can add stairs through there. I'm going to add the roof on here just for aesthetics, right? And here's what we. here's something we can do. Uh, we we can't do it. Oh. For whatever reason, we can't. Ah, too much slope uh, on there. Well, either way. Uh, so what am I going to do? Well, uh, I'm going to uh, connect up the second platform here. I'm going to bring the track out a distance and do that. Now, I'm not going to signalize this because I don't actually need to. Uh, I just need to connect that. Now, 
the other thing I need to do is get the track out this way. And if I come out level, it's better for the trains. And the slope on the, on the road here is tolerable, right? So that is fine. And you'll notice that tram tracks can happily cross regular rail tracks. I assume that's possible in reality as well. Uh, but I haven't actually observed that anywhere. Usually they'll grade separate things. But that's not really an option here for cost and for other reasons. Well, this is expensive to get the track out of here. But let's just build that part first. Now, can we go through here? Yeah, we're still going to have to kill that that building. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to kill that building. Yeah. So, uh, with the two tracks here, the idea is I could run back and forth a, a service that goes from Durham to Columbia to Daly and back to Columbia, and the back and forth trains, you know, can alter can use the alternate platforms, right? Uh, and that's the idea here ultimately, and that, that's kind of what I want to do. But I'm going to need some cash here to do this. Uh, and that will require dual tracking and all of that business, right, uh, into the station. Uh, but the first thing I want to do is get the, the main uh, track connection out of here. So if I do this and I get this, no, okay. Uh, and then I'm going to need to do, no, I just need to come out here and do this. Okay. Okay. Now from here, no, that's going to kill that. From here, no. If I build this out to here... Okay, pause it while you futz with this so you don't end up having to demolish buildings again. Okay. Okay, so if I build it out to there so I can do a diverging track. Ah, okay. That's how I can I can get this to go. Uh right. Okay. Right. And then this, right, okay. Let's get the, uh, I'm going to just take the maximum loan here, close that, get the ugly, yeah. Okay. And we'll come like this. Yeah, I think that is exactly what I want to do there. Okay. Yeah, it's more expensive, but... No. Back this up one lump. And then come around like this. Yeah. Yeah, we'll come around like that to here. And then... We kind of want to follow this contour line here, right? Uh, and then punch through here. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do that. And we'll come across like that, right? So that's basically... Uh, this is... And we'll need to come around... Get a bit of a cut here. I actually like the idea of a cut here. So we'll come in... And we'll pick up this contour line again. All right. And then we can come around like this. And then bash that in. Right. Yeah, we could bash that in. 
but let's get a slight bit of level track out of here and then bash that in. Yes. If I do this, does it look a little less hinky? Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Okay. Now turn the ugly off, and we now have a way to run the train all the way onto the other town, right? And again, we don't need any signals because the platforms here have implied signals. So let's unpause it, right? And I am, in fact, going to run a through line. So we're going to start out by grabbing the line and let's pause while I do this. We'll add Columbia and Daily. Okay. And uh, here we're going to want platform two. Yeah, okay. Good, and I'm going to want a second train. Cancel. Use the correct button. Okay, now we're just going to observe this train as it launches. And after this, uh, I'm going to put the cut in with two, two new cities connected. Now... I haven't done any speed ups on the edit here, and that's uh, just because uh, this one there was stuff going on. Uh, so, yeah, so this train will come in here. It would have waited here if there was something wanting to do the thing here. Now, uh, I can't, could put a signal here, but I'm not going to. So, we've got, we picked up two, and we're going to go through and uh, let's just ride this actually I don't mind this track much at all it mostly follows the contours it runs through a cut where you'd expect one right you probably want to fix that rock uh, and then it comes along, and then it uh, runs through another cut, basically where you'd expect one. And to the station. Yeah. So this particular uh, leg isn't going to carry a lot. Uh, but the... Uh, I think the... I think there will be a split... Columbia is going to be a hub, right? Uh, but it, it would make sense to to split. Now here here's here's the thinking that I I split at New Haven and run a line this way, and then this way or so. You know, I'm not sure. Daily is the definite connection point that makes sense here. Uh, but from Daily, New Haven makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so the trains are doing their thing. We don't have a traffic jam. And we've got... Oh, we might need a second train going up to Naperville. Or a fourth car on it. Yeah. Now, I'm going to have to run the, uh, the game forward to uh, make sure that I haven't bankrupted the, uh, uh, everything by overspending. Uh, I'm not going to uh, allow the series to end if I end up... Uh, let's just uh, repay that. That'll save a couple K every... Uh, accounting period, right? Uh, but I'll, I'll end up before next episode. I'll have to run time forward a little bit, 
uh, well, not the clock, like the calendar time, but I'll have to run a few uh, terms just to get some cash to actually do anything. Uh, and that's one of the reasons I'm not running this as a full live, uh, always 100% of the game time is uh, televised, so to speak, because I'm going to need to run the clock forward, you know, some a little bit to get cash, right? Um, it looks like... For the most part, this is going to continue to be profitable. So, without several million in spending, yeah, okay. Actually, the previous uh, uh, accounting period, uh, it, it was... Uh, the trains were not profitable because there was a new train that hadn't uh, picked up any passengers yet, I think. Um, yeah. Putting one more carriage on the Naperville one might actually uh, break the, uh, the cost uh, yeah, impasse a bit quicker. Anyway, uh, that's basically this is this is where we're at. Uh, Daily has a local line running. It has train service. And it looks like it's picking up a decent number of passengers here. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's picking a decent number up. Uh, and uh, here, clearly need more capacity up to Naperville. Well, let's look. We'll look into that potentially next time. Okay. Well, that's going to be all for this time. Now uh, we have here, uh, you know, the usual YouTube business that we have to do. Uh, you know. I have a Patreon. If for some reason you want to support the channel, well, the link is in the description. You can just go there or you can ignore it if you prefer. Uh, you know, that's fine too. Uh, you, you do you, you know, all that, that jazz. Now, uh, the other thing, it's YouTube. So you can like and comment and subscribe if, if you want or share the video or do all that business or don't. Uh, but, you know, you're in the driver's seat. So, you know, do, do it or don't. And I guess all of that said, I will see you back next time.